This is R. Bill Purvis, Brother Trucker, with another one of my well-thought-out opinions. And if you don't like it, well, I hope you download a virus on your computer that's so contagious you wind up getting sick yourself. Well, I never had a big family growing up. Mom, dad, sis, couple of cousins, that was good enough for me. I didn't have to buy a bunch of Christmas presents, and it wasn't too hard to remember everybody's names. My wife, Viola May, on the other hand, has a family bigger than the Chicago mob. And even after all these years we've been married, I still meet a new member of her family about twice a year. Well, the other day, she calls me on the road, and she says her cousin's coming to visit. I said, which cousin is it this time? She said it's her sister cousin. Well, I thought maybe she started tapping into her happy go-go juice a little earlier than normal that day. But no, her cousin is a sister. I mean, she's a nun. Her name is Sister Mary Catherine. And she was going to be there just in time for when I came back for two days. Whoa, happy day for me. Well, of course, I lied and I told her I'd be thrilled to meet her cousin, Sister Mary Catherine. But if I'd known then what I know now, I'd have volunteered to drive a load of reindeer litter to Santa Claus at the North Pole and spent an extra week helping him switch it out. It started as soon as I walked through my front door. Viola May introduced me and I said, how the hell are you? Well, Sister Mary Catherine reached up and smacked me on the head with some big stick she had and rattled off some Bible verse about cussing. I thought, well, this relationship is already off to a rollicking stop. Over the course of the next two days, I did things that got me walloped on top of the head along with a corresponding Bible verse to show me how wrong I was. I got smacked for the Hooters calendar I had hanging in my garage. I got smacked for the beer I had in my fridge in my garage. And I got smacked for not having any wholesome gospel music on my boom box out in my garage. I guess I could have avoided a concussion if I'd have just kept her out of my damn garage. Anyway, by the time the two days were over, Viola May and Sister Mary Catherine had caught up pretty well on family matters, and I was wearing my old hard hat for protection's sake. You can understand I took off for my next load a little early that morning, but the whole thing got me to thinking in a strange twist of irony, I figure if there is a hell, it's probably full of nuns, just like Sister Mary Catherine, beating sinners up with sticks and yelling Bible verses at them for all of eternity. Believe me, that truly would be hell. I still can't put on my ball cap without screaming ouch and one or two obscenities that would get me smacked in the head a couple of dozen times. Okay, fire it up, Chuck. Yeah, that's good old Chuck. He's three tires and a transmission shy of a Ford Fiesta, but he's still a darn good driver. I'm Orville Purpose, Brother Trucker. Make sure you follow, friend, and subscribe to us, whatever you do on this damn thing. And that's a big 10-4. Over and out.